welcome to this week's Home and Away episode of Enoki Daily Spotlight TV. The smell of spring is around the corner, and expert Siri from A Country Mile is here to show us how to create some easy, effortless spring floral arrangements to decorate our homes. So sorry, everybody is gearing up for the spring season. At least we're hoping spring's on its way. What should we be looking out for um, when it comes to colors and popular spring flowers? Tulips, which are these yellow tulips, are the most popular. There's also hyacinths, which have a fragrance, which are great. You can use them in a washroom, hallway. There's crocuses, there's daffodils. Everybody knows the daffodils in April. And um, you can use the mini gerbs and the regular gerbs. So sorry, when I get a bouquet of flowers brought home to me, I will take it out of the package and throw it into a vase. And I think most of us do that. How can we make our bouquets look a little bit more professional? Well, let me just show you. It's not difficult at all and anyone can do it. So you're usually given some greens. Right. And I'm gonna use that as the base. But the one thing you have to make sure, if it hasn't been done, you gotta make sure that all the greens are off the bottom and their stems are nice and clean. And why would you say that? because you don't want the stems clouding up the water. Okay. For two reasons, it doesn't look good, okay. and also it's gonna breed bacteria, and the bacteria is gonna hurt the longevity of your flower. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the color of these gerbs. These are gerbers, and the colors are awesome. Wow. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna frame it by taking these aspidistra leaves. I have special binding wire, but if you don't have wire, this it's covered wire, you can just use any string or even just a twist tie. I find shears easier than scissors or a knife, and then I'm just going to... Just even it out. Even it out, and then I'm going to pop it in the vase. Wow. Let's talk about changing up the look of our vase. All of us typically have that clear vase, you throw the flowers in, but it gets kind of boring sometimes. So what can we do to add some spunk to the vase? Well, you can just take a green leaf and it's called an aspidistra leaf. You can wrap it around um, the inside of the vase. You can get a burlap bag or even just, if you don't have burlap, you know what also works is just a paper bag. Wow. And then have something like that for that country look. So there's also um, a vase that has birch on top, which also has a clear glass vase inside, which is great because you can just take it out to wash. Or you can go with something that doesn't show the stems. Silver is great, and this is a matte silver. It's got a bit of texture, and it has a bit of a square as opposed to round. Sorry, we as South Asians have many festivities such as the Vali, weddings, um, even Mandis, and you, typically what we use is floating candles. You know, so how can we change up the look like, or make it a little bit more intriguing? Well, you could add the floating gerbs. Gerberas are great to float and you can just pop it in a martini glass. You can take a square vase, put some rocks. I have some LED lights that are watertight and I put a peacock feather in there. Just add a little, this is a mini gerb and just oh, float it. It's so not pretty. even covering up the peacock. And the other thing you can do for the small little vases or any size vase is get this wire. Most florist shops have it or craft shops. It's aluminum wire. You can just scrunch it up, cut it, pop it in the vase, and it acts as a cage for your flower. For more information, visit anokimedia.com, our YouTube channel, and don't forget to interact with us on Facebook and Twitter.